Greetings and welcome. Thank you for stopping by here on TikTok Live at the one and only raw, rare, real, tried and true, Bloom from Mithila. I go by Bloomy. Happy, happy Thursday, August the 4th, 2022. If you're logging in live, otherwise, if you're logging in at a later date and time here on, I'm sorry, on YouTube, then just welcome. Anything you need to know about me should be either in the bio or description box on YouTube. And if you're a high viber, somebody that's coming in on divine benevolent energy, may that be amplified to you where you are. If you're someone that's coming in as a dark witch and warlock, if you're someone here coming in as a bounty hunter or a stalker and troll, if you're someone coming in here with ill will and hidden dishonor and ill intentions towards me, what I do here my son, my life, my path, and this journey, may that be returned to you back. It may be amplified in your reality and bound there now and forevermore on a time release until you learn the goddamn lesson. Now, for the high vibers that are coming in here, may you receive all that love and light and positivity that you have worked so hard and diligently to try to create in your own life. Now, this is not the regular scheduled program. I'm jumping right in. This is something different. I'm out and about. I do apologize for the noise. I was trying to give you all a different scenery. I was trying to bring in some outdoors since we've been getting guidance to get out in nature a lot more. So I was trying to bring in that element with the readings as well. So with that being said, I'm just going to jump straight away. DDD, collective reading, daily dose of Dharma. For those of you who have suffered some injustices, so we're going to get some foundational energy as to what has led to why are you going to be getting all these daily doses? The daily dose of Dharma come in unique forms, but often we can't see it because we're going through the healing. Could have gone through recent breakups, you know, I've dealt with a lot of abusive, toxic people and your physicalities and your realities could have been affected, especially if you were dealing with uh, religious narcs, spiritual narcs, dark witches and warlocks, bullies, you know, whatever you want to call it, con artists, thieves, liars. Um, and so all of that, you know, you can still be working through it. I can certainly relate to that story, but be encouraged because if this is you or someone that you're thinking about, your spirit guides and ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses are rooting for you. If you're anything like me, you got a high ranking ragtag team of Avengers that is constantly working on your behalf, whooping ass, and they're going to do it until justice has fully been served for you. Okay, now, so they want to encourage you along the way. So let's see what's been going on. This is my deck that I've created. I'm excited about it. Right now, I'm just using the index cards because I've designed the actual deck. It's beautiful. I laughed almost the entire time that I created it. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait, man. I like it when it's funny but real at the same time. And I'm like, man, this shit is dope. This shit is dope. I'm excited about it. And um, I'm really hoping and the intention is that it serves as healing and uh, clarification for anyone who is sincere on their paths. But they also get a good laugh at some of the crazy shit I say on these cards. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's rock. Let's get some foundational energy. Thank you, Light Team, for the guidance. Thank you, Light Team, in advance for this entire reading here. All right, let's get some foundational energy. Foundational Energy, DDD Daily Dose, the High Vibe Tribe, what's led to their daily dose, what's been going on, what's been happening in their lives, okay, light team, boom, ah, help us out, sorry about the noise again, guys, I'm not in my normal setup, I'm outdoors, but I wanted to shake up the energy, because we talk about doing something different to shake up our energies, right, sometimes it's the small things, Okay, guys, don't have, always have to be big. I had to learn this too. It could be as simple as changing around your living room, changing around your bedroom, getting away things that you no longer use. Okay? Going outside, changing up your routine. But sometimes it's the smallest things to help shake up the energy. Okay? Anything else, light team? Foundational energy here. Ooh. Yeah. Huh? I got to hold it, y'all. Help me out, team. Help me. Help me, help me, help me. Help me. All right. Let's see what's been going on. This is my personal deck. But right now, these are the ratchet index cards. <laughs> Until 
the designs, the professional versions of it is delivered, okay? Um, so let's see some foundational energy. All right, Divine Feminine says, what? Okay, I can't shit read, bitch. Huh? Right? Y'all probably read. Uh, Divine Feminine says it wasn't about DM choosing another, but attempting to hurt her. Okay, so this is for a Divine Feminine that has healed through things where maybe individuals tried to make it seem like it was about a man not choosing her, but the truth was it was about what he did intentionally to work against her with karmic energy. Okay? People admire you, okay? So you guys are being reminded if this is you. Divine Feminine knows that weak women are threatened by her and she don't care. Woo, child. About to go bankrupt for stealing, so somebody's going to go bankrupt. Rejection and abandonment issues. Karmics are sending lust spells to Divine Masculine and Feminine to keep them distracted. Stay positive and keep moving forward. They can't be you. Hypocrites and double standards. Want to be famous so damn bad will steal from others. Competitors in the field stalk and steal from divine feminine and masculine. Friends and family sells out for money. Cowards, yet they bully in the dark. Spell work constantly. We got a lot of spell work cards here. So this is for a group of divine feminines, probably, maybe masculine here since he did show up. But this is for a group of divine feminines that certainly know. Yeah, divine masculine is here. Um, that individuals been doing a whole lot of spell work, a whole lot of hypocritical energy. But people do admire you all here. Okay? These people have issues that they're hiding. Okay? They're still trying to send lust to you guys because to them, it's as long as you don't heal and as long as you don't go towards divine counterparts. That's all they care about at this point, even if you've left them. Um, yeah, hypocrites and double standards. And family and friends, like I said, people sell out for money. I'm fully aware of it. Competitors in the field, I'm fully aware of them too. People that want to be famous so bad, they'll do anything for it. They'll steal. Yeah, I'm aware of all of them too. All right, guys. So that's what's been going on. And you guys are receiving. If you're a high vibe trapper, you're getting some daily dose of Dharma because of it. Okay. So let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. No more games. Ooh, child. Y'all, somebody ain't playing now no more. It's game over. Liars to the 10th power. Yeah, these people are liars pathological. Liars to the 10th power. To the 10th power. Okay. Bounty hunters are about to face unexpected towers. Yep. They sure are. They attack your health to make you tired so that you won't fight for your life. So this is why your guys are trying to encourage you all out there. That was a result of spell work. This is why they did a lot of fuckery, gaslighting, attacks, stressing you out, stalking you, bugging you, rituals on you, spells on you, on your shit to attack your health so you'll be so fucking exhausted, they thought, that you wouldn't care and just give up and lay somewhere and die. So your guys are here to tell you, absolutely not. Reverse that shit. They're rooting for you. They're helping you. Just be serious about your life and cut these people out and move on, okay? But your life is worth living, and they are helping you to recover. And these people are going to receive every attack they have put on your body. Anybody dumb enough to fuck with them are going to receive it as well. All right? Divine Masculine is sending a telepathic message. What does it say? Damn, bitch. Divine Masculine is sending a telepathic message to Divine Feminine. I love you. I see you now. Okay? Ah, listen. Divine Feminine and Masculine. You guys are getting Divine Youthing Elixir for Divine Feminine and Masculine. For all the shit people try to do to your appearance because, like I said, these people 
They do rituals on you. They do beauty spells on themselves and then do rituals to attack you. Don't believe the hype. Okay, this shit is going in the reverse. Um, they watch you constantly. Yeah, they're here now and try to mimic you. Uh, new beginnings for a divine feminine and divine masculines. No one can stop it. Karmics are receiving, told you. All the spell work on themselves and it's happening suddenly. Divine feminine is sending a telepathic message to divine masculine. I still love you, but things must be made right. Divine masculine says to divine feminine, I am so sorry for betraying you. All right, so that's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's get some foundational energy. Keep it pushing here. All right, I think it's quieting down a little bit because I feel like I'm screaming and yelling <laughs> and I don't like feeling like that. It's like, damn, why you gotta be screaming? But when you have a lot of background noise, like the cars and the machines and all of that, it's like, ah. All right. Thank you, Light Team. Amplify quantum energetic support for divine feminines and masculines of divine energy. Amplify karmic ramification for karmics, dark witches and warlocks. Any and everybody, known or unknown, seen or unseen, that's up to fuckery. Every troll, every stalker, everyone that is a part of the pawns of narcissists. Amplify their karmic ramification. May they actually receive the just karma. Ramification as the karmics themselves, as a lesson. When they least expect it in the most unexpected ways as a lesson for willingly participating and coming against innocent lives divine feminines and masculines out of their envy anger jealousy mental illness belief system rage lies trickeries at the hand of the narcissist to get people to do dumb shit may this be amplified Until justice has been fully served in the ethers and on the earth, in all lifetimes, all timelines, all portals, all dimensions. May no one get away unscathed, revoking any attempt to cloak and hide and protect low vibratory individuals, shatter it entirely and continually. Thoughts until it's finished. All right, thoughts, thoughts thoughts what's going on here thank you light team what was going on here why is the high vibe collecting getting daily dose of dharma here's oh, 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 oh. because there was injustice judication is in the reverse coming out leading energy with foundation there was injustice is done and it's not going unnoticed and no one is going to get off no matter what the fuck they do for the high vibe collectives you guys are going to get justice served in your favor here okay and your guys are wanting to remind you that yes they know how unfair and low vibrational and toxic and insidious and ridiculous and almost unbelievable this shit has been but you all are going to get your justice here you're not expecting it and these people aren't expecting to get the karma they're getting and you guys aren't expecting to get the daily the doses of dharma but it's you know it's coming Okay, so they're just trying to encourage the high vibe tribe here. Okay, mature man. Is it all in reverse? Hold on. Yeah. Adjudication. Yep. A couple more teams. A lot of win. There she is. Oh, oh, because you guys had karmics. Holes does divine. Fake, 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 fake. Thieves, yep, there it is. Thieves, thieves, thieves. Huh. 
she under judgment and the privileged ladies trying to steal somebody else's privileges damn hold on you guys i knew the wind was gonna start hit hold on okay hold on hold on I'm back, I'm back. So look, check. The one that just flew was this one. Divine Masculine actually knows the dark secrets of family and friends now. Yeah, because his people are at it as well. It ain't just Divine Feminines. His folks, his baby mamas, his homies, his, he know, he know. All right. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's under judgment. Okay, so you guys are going to get justice. High vibe tribe here with Judication and Privilege Lady. People who tried to steal your privileges. And whatever ways they did it, via spell work, via thievery, via copycatting, via, you know, fraud. <laughs> whatever they did to steal your privileges. A wealthy man is concerned here about a mature woman because of this community. Yeah. So these people, uh, uh, uh. yeah, they got surprises coming. Anybody dumb enough to try to get in on the fuckery? Yep. Thief. These people are thieves. And you guys are going to get your justice. Okay? Yeah, because they stole a gift. So the universe is saying, you're getting some kind of dharma for this. For this family that stole your money, your income, and your gift. They're all going to get what they got coming. Every last one of them. Everyone that sold out was bought off to be quiet. Them too. Yeah. Still in the fortune. They're about to lose it. Some of them, like I said, some of them are going to go bankrupt for doing it. And it could be a whole community. They don't see it coming. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see, these people were, would not change, okay? You may feel like nothing is going to change depending on where you are on your healing, okay? But these people, they would not change. They wouldn't. They just wanted privileges. They're greedy. They're selfish. They're liars. They're thieves, okay? They're karmics, and they carry Bibles and sage bundles by day and do weird things to other people by night. Okay. All right. Let's keep it pushing here. I'm going to try to make this quick because, like I said, it's a little bit windy here and there is some noise. But I was just simply trying to give y'all a little bit of a, a different vibe. But let's just see. And this is not even the regularly scheduled program. So this was just rando. Rando. Rando read. All right, team, let's encourage the high vibe tribe in terms of the bad karma that people are going to get with their justice that they're going to get, their dharma, their dharma, their dharma for these injustices. All right. What do we have? Light team, help me out. Amplify buffers and shields around the space. Violet fire. Thank you, light team. Yeah. All right. Gratitude. Sacred gratitude, appreciation, and prayer. Okay. Universe is grateful for you. 
Gaia is grateful for you. Someone is grateful for you. For some of you, the universe is saying, be grateful that you got away from somebody in their 50s, somebody in their 30s, someone that you possibly were dealing with for 12 years, some of, that, some of you individuals that you were dealing with for 12 months, okay, 12 cycles of something, however you want to look at it. But um, they're reminding you, okay, just be grateful that things are changing. You're free. Be grateful. Okay. Universe is grateful for you because you've done the work. Okay. Those of you that have released yourself from these uh, toxic people here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. This is what you guys have gone through. And it was to do with karmics, family, karmic family, karmic friends, karmic exes, karmic clergy, karmic spiritualist that um, bothered by you, causing hostility, conflict, and unrest. They're being dealt with. And will continue to be until justice is served. For intruding on other people's lives. Yeah, because look, setting boundaries is in the reverse. Here, what, here it is. There was a lack of boundaries or people were crossing boundaries here. Because they didn't want people to be able to create something new outside of their approval. And outside of their involvement in ways they benefit. So they crossed the line. See, you guys hear me talk about this all the time. You do not owe anybody any explanation. You have a right to the life that you want to create. You have a right to be who you are as long as you're not violating someone else. Unfortunately, these individuals do not understand that. That they don't have a right to violate someone else or intrude on someone else or bully and control someone else. Okay, And because like I said, most of them are mental patients with fancy outfits on. They were crossing boundaries and they're going to pay for that going to pay. Energetic boundaries, spiritual boundaries, physical boundaries, financial boundaries. You guys understand that's what all that stuff is. Thievery, people who steal, fraud, people who cyber stalk, troll. Do you guys understand that? That's what that is. That is a lack of respect of boundaries. Okay, People who hire hitmans and all that kind of weird shit, acting like high schoolers, Going around lying to people to get people's panties and chonies in a bunch to get them to incur karma right along with them. Okay, that's a lack of boundary. Okay, and no one has the right to cross that because they don't like you or they don't see things the way you do. Okay, and they're going to pay. You guys are going to get the justice. Serve for where people cross the line one, two, three many times yeah there is true love here probably um, divine feminine and masculine someone that's actually compassionate and these people believed karmic lunatics and unfortunately got on the bandwagon with them and now they're gonna have to receive the bad karma with them okay because the person was probably a kind person life path number nine so everybody involved in the fuckery is going to get it. But there is true love here. Divine feminine. This could be divine feminine to divine masculine or vice versa. And these people knew it. And that's what the, all the fuckery was about to begin with. To begin with. They didn't want somebody to awaken. It's in the reverse. Card number one. Yep, spiritual path here, ascension, infinite mind, awakening consciousness. So you guys are receiving your upgrades. These people are being blocked. They wanted to block you. They're being blocked. This is what these individuals have been doing the entire time. They feel entitled to it. Again, it's mental illness disguised with fancy clothes and titles and labels. Anytime you feel like you have a right to do that, that is a distortion. You have a right to your reality. You do not have a right to intrude on another. Okay. Yep. And most of these individuals, by the way, they hide behind that. They themselves usually are not even truly 
with that, but they use that as the ticket if there's no other leg to, to stand on, okay? Yeah, duality. Okay, so some misunderstandings are being cleared up. Divine feminine, divine masculine. You may not feel like that, but there's a clearing up of the misunderstandings that occurred between you and divine feminine, divine masculine, divine feminine. However, this is resonating for you. That was caused by these individuals. Okay. Yeah. There's going to be some communication here. You guys are being guided that there's going to be for the high vibers, a clearing up of something here, okay? Yes, they're still doing the chaos magic, but because of you guys having knowledge about it and returning to sender, this is going to help, okay? You have to stay in your alignment, and there is going to be some kind, compassionate communication here, okay? Something to do with the Akashic Records, Divine Feminine and Masculine. You guys know what people were doing, playing with your energy, Fucking with the Kashuk record, set intentions to get that cleared up. Acts to be guided to balance out your cash. You do have authority to do that. You also have authority to call judgment in the Akashic records on these karmics. What their demise is for fucking with you. They don't want you to know this. They want you to feel weak. But you actually have the authority even over them. In the ethers. Call the judgment. Ask your, your guides and those who rule all of that. Council of Light to assist with that. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Uh. Clarity. Planning. Releasing illusion. They didn't want you all to release. Okay. You guys are going to get some Dharma today. Okay. For and then ongoing for the confusion that these people kept going. Okay, this has been constant, 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 long before you even knew. Long before you even knew who the hell you were. Okay? Um, yeah. They didn't want you guys to know that you all actually probably loved each other, so they played divine feminine and masculine against each other. They've been doing that a long time. Okay? Long time. It was sophisticated. Okay? They were creating fake shit, fake profiles, fake documents, fake this, fake that, spell work, all sorts of shit. Stir up divine feminine, fuck with her energy. They did all sorts of shit. Huh, they're going to pay. Yeah. So they're saying be grateful. Okay, you guys, divine feminine and masculine. Put up boundaries. Be grateful for, you know, realizing and seeing that you had a lack of boundaries or people were crossing your boundaries and that people were trying to fuck with your head and confuse you here. And so your guys are saying, you know, get into gratitude because you have been released, even though you may still be in pain. Okay. And it's like the trickling effect. You know, you know how it is when you go to the doctor or, you know what I'm saying? You go get the stuff that you're supposed to have, but it takes a while to actually start feeling better. And so they're just trying to um, encourage you all that be grateful because the most of the fuckery is done. You're going to see some surprises before this year is out. Okay. All right. So let's move this on. I'm going to move the cards, you guys, because it's windy and I don't want stuff to be uh, flying all over the place here. Okay? So let's see here. Man. I think it's enough. Damn it. Okay. Because I got to use what I got with me, y'all. So I'm working with what I got. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's see the situations that are clearing up for you all, okay? That's clearing up for you, that you're getting some dharma for, and your guys are trying to remind you that, in spite of how you may be feeling, that as long as you stay in alignment, as long as you continue to clear and cleanse your energy, as long as you set strong intentions, as long as you stop playing with the devil, as long as you do your part in your own healing process and ascension, as long as you start, stop partnering with the devil, making deals with the devil and the devil's crew that was a part of the fuckery, you will be all right no matter what kind of threatening energies 
you know, this is what happens with bullies all the time and narcissists when you start to free yourself. Okay. You may want to look into some of that stuff. You may want to contact, you know, behavioral health. Okay. If you feel that you need to do that, because that's abuse. Most of you all, this stuff is, is, is sheerly abuse. I don't care what nobody say. It's abuse. They can hide and go to church and a Reiki center and say all they want to say. But they ain't fooling the universe. They're not fooling source. They're not fooling the frequencies, energies, and divine beings that matter. They're only fooling other humans and those that are equally asleep. Okay? And bringing them down right along with them. That's all they're doing. Know that, okay? Just know it. Yeah, gamble, take a risk. Vegas. <sighs> you guys took, somebody took a risk with someone. Okay, kept pop, popping up. You guys have dealt with that. Okay, depending on who you are, so we don't have all the cards out yet. Okay, but something to do with that. All right, light team. So, what um, what's going on here, and why the uh, high vibe divine feminines and masculines are going to get some DDD Dharma, and you guys are just simply trying to remind them today in the now, because they may not feel that way, but trash. <laughs> Boom. Ah, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck up. Oh, discarding, throwing out the trash. Well, well, well. Okay, these cards, this ain't my deck. This is a funny deck, but this ain't mine. She's funny, whoever that is. Um, yeah, so, okay, you know, somebody could be feeling threatened or embarrassed appearances. And I'll say this, if it's you, high vibe, if it's, you know, high vibe, divine, feminine, and masculine, um, then your guys are saying, listen, heal and release. You know, deal with that inside, ask your guys for help because at the end of the day, everybody gets trapped, especially if you have sophisticated uh, manipulators and con artists and scam artists and copycatters and dark witches and warlocks and all of this energy surrounding you. Anyone could be duped, okay, into um, believing something, as well as when you yourself are still asleep. When you yourself are going through the dark night of the soul. So do not allow yourself to feel embarrassed any further. But uh, because if you've done the right thing, then your light team is rooting for you. They're cheering for you if you have indeed thoroughly done what they have asked you to do regarding throwing out the trash. Okay. No matter how painful it was, no matter how much they bullied and stomped and threatened and hollered and cried and fell out and negotiated and begged. And if you've managed to do what your guys have told you to do, they're saying, don't you be embarrassed. You had some sophisticated motherfucker, some sophisticated high level witches and warlocks on the dark side. OK, you had some sophisticated narcs that's got money and stuff that has hit their mental illness. Okay, so anybody would be fooled and duped. This is why you have to heal and separate so that you can see clearly. This is why a lot of people that's around them cannot see clearly because they're actually under their spell and under their web to begin with. <laughs> Divine Feminine and Masculine, you guys have discovered this. So your guys are saying, now that you've taken out the trash, and stop being on a hamster wheel with motherfuckers, okay? You may have to recover, okay? Depending on how deep you got into some things with folks here. It was a hamster wheel of fuckery with, with some money, some money. It's always money, isn't it? It's, it's always gonna be tied to that, I promise you. When you look at all, at all this crazy stuff, it gets down to the base of what was it about? Some shit that wasn't somebody's and they wanted it, period, the end. Some money, 
some house, some shit, some creativity, some whatever. Somebody wants something that's not theirs. Willing to do anything for it, even trying to kill someone off so that they can get it. I don't think so. They'll die before we do. Running, avoiding. So these people may be on the run, but you certainly want to avoid these people. They are not safe. Don't play with your life. They're still trying to set you up while they're smiling, crying, talking about how much they love you. Yep, here it is. It was a love affair. And it was all based on a love affair. Dirty little secret. Okay, whether it's a man or a woman, they, she just has a woman in the picture. Doesn't matter. It can be both shit. Okay? Yeah, somebody that you met in Vegas. Or some motherfuckers that you met at the nightclub. That you did your dranky drink. <laughs> or somebody. Ascension. Absolutely. Here you go. High vibe tribe. There you go. Take your ascension. Okay, spiritual path awakening these people did not want that they did not want it and they was willing to do whatever it took to stop it cut them off and mean it so the guys are saying we're here to support you it's going to get better it's going to feel better just like when you go get medicine at the doctor and it takes a while for you to actually feel that you're getting better okay but you can't play with your life once you have received the information that you have needed to receive, don't play with your life. Okay, these people will come in to test that. I'm ascending now. I'm awakening now. I'm this now. It's never about that. You follow your guidance because it's all a lie anyway. Please understand. So your guys are saying take your life seriously and remember your lessons and keep ascending today. And just stay in the now. Get out in nature. Okay? Yeah. Find some, find you a spotty spot if you're able to. I mean, because, you know, your situations, everybody's is different. But, you know, get shake yourself from your normal get up. The motherfuckers you used to, you know, that you hang with, do shit with, because chances are they're a part of it. I'm telling you what I know. I don't care if they've known you since you were five. Especially if they were a part of rooting for and pushing you to do something to begin with. Yeah. Something to do with a vacation hideaway spot. Okay. Some of you guys could have gotten the spot with these people. Okay. That could be the part of the, the spot that was stolen. Fraud. Ooh, they're going to pay. Lord have mercy. I ain't going to want to hear it. I already told my guys, I'm like, mm -mm, I ain't going to want to hear it. I ain't going to want to hear it when this year in. I ain't going to want to hear it now nobody. Because they've been watching me the whole time, acting like they're not, and had plenty of opportunities, plenty, 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 to come say something to me like a boss, to come with some truths and some clarities, and they opted out, so I'm not trying to hear it. Okay, so you guys are freeing yourself here. You're not stuck anymore. Your guys are reminding you that be grateful you are free even though you may not be feeling better just yet. It takes a while for the medicine to kick in. It takes a while before you start feeling it. Have you guys ever, you know, you had dental issues or an abscess or something, you had to go get some antibiotics and some ibuprofen and you know, at first, it seems to take a while, but eventually when that antibiotics kicks in good and plenty, okay, you start to feel better. But not right away. Not right away. Yeah. So block communication. Block, you know, cover your dream space because most of these people were manipulating in dreams and dream work. Okay. While you sleep, they were sending energies and stuff. They're still at that. Okay. But some of them are being stripped. So it just depends on where they're at in this whole process. Some of them are actually literally being stripped. Like there's higher ranks like standing there waiting kind of energy. Like try it. <laughs> just keep on. 
She was be fencing to send it right back. And then we fencing to tie some rope around you in a minute. So <laughs> they're being blocked, but you guys are being told be grateful. Okay, because uh, they were fucking with telepathic stuff, my fuckery, my control, mind hacking. Um, this is how they were getting people to do. This is how most of them has gotten people to cover for them, hide them, protect them, fund them, finance them, believe them. Like this is how deep this stuff was going. And you guys have to just learn. Like, look, don't try to convince folks because it's not going. It ain't going to happen. The Divine Feminine had to learn that and just get the fuck on. Because every time she talked to folks, it's like talking a Chinese language, a whole nother language, motherfuckers. So you have to just, just go on with your get down. Okay? Because ain't nobody going to hear you. Or they going to tell you their stories and shit. And chances are they here going to be hacked by, by the Dark Witch anyway. <laughs> to send some messages and shit. So, yeah. Just be grateful that this is being blocked and then set intentions divine feminine and masculine ask your guidance team your ragtag team of avengers to protect your dream space okay to protect your dream space your astral travel when you're asleep okay um to buffer that and to um execute karmic ramification for people that are violating okay that's what they're saying but just be grateful okay because this has been happening. It's a repeat of history. For some of you, these are past life karmics. They, don't, they may not know it. Some of them know it. That they were lunatics in other lives or there was some traumas. And that they have their own set of lessons and they refuse to heal them over and over again. And they get obsessed. And then the whole goal is to try to take out divine feminine and masculine. To use them dry, suck them, and then spit out the bones. And then in them so they can step off in what's not theirs to begin with and they keep doing it and so their ramifications are being amped this is whether they're clergy whether they're you know spiritualists it really doesn't matter whether they are you know in any arena or not people who feel entitled to intrude on your life and people who feel like if you're not what they want you to be, they have a right to kill you. <laughs> or they have a right to ruin you. That's a distortion. It's mental illness. Whether people want to believe it or not. Too bad, so sad. Okay. Uh, bounty hunting is in the reverse. They're being blocked. I told y'all they're getting surprises. Some of these people are getting... Um... Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Some of these individuals, I told y'all, they bounty hunters. They got surprises. I'm telling y'all. That's why I be trying. I, I try on the loving side, but people just don't see it that way. People just misunderstand me and that's going to have to be too bad too. But I actually try on the loving side for people that were duped. And so I put all of those alerts out like, look, you can be okay. But don't blame me and don't be mad at me and don't come over here and bother me because you wanted to, you know, stay out of shit. We ain't in high school. Mess around and get yourself, get some, some problems behind trying to do some, some dumb ghetto shit. Mess around and see what, what you met with. Okay. So, yeah, drastic cut off. They now, why is that in the reversed meeting, bounty hunting, reverse? Maybe something, yeah, because they got, they probably got either something happened to them. They could have went to jail. They could have, um, who knows? But be grateful, um, High Vibe Collective here. Okay, yeah. You all know the, the, the shit here, the pretending, the fake living beyond means. And so this is another reason why people go to such great lengths because, you know, Divine Feminine, she, uh, she didn't have a problem. She's learned for most of her life how to make the best of any situations that she has ever been in. 
okay? And she knew how to make a house a home. She knew how to beautify anything that she is currently, and that's a part of being a divine feminine. Uh, but she also understood the school of hard knocks and humble beginnings and didn't have a problem with that. So it's like she learned how to not live beyond her means. That's what I'm trying to say. Divine Feminine learned a long time ago. She learned how to cut losses, how to learn lessons, and how to make the best of where she's at and just to heal and grow from there, knowing that she can constantly recreate. But these individuals, they're too worried about the way things look. And so when the shit hits the fan for them, when karma starts coming around, when life starts to happen and it's like it's starting to reduce people's stuff, they this is why they go into high gear to do anything, any and everything. The most dark, heinous shit, you know what I'm saying? To try to keep up with the Joneses, to try to keep up appearances that don't even fucking matter. Who cares? Who cares what house you got? Who cares what car you got? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? No one actually cares. No one actually cares. Divine Feminine learned this. She stopped caring a long time ago and she learned that, you know, essentially what does it mean? It doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean much. And she sure ain't gonna sell her soul and occur a whole bunch of bad karma for trying to... She ain't, she ain't with that. Divine Feminine ain't with that. <laughs> She's like, look like that. <laughs> ain't that serious? It just ain't that damn serious, man. She ain't doing no spells on the motherfuckers. She ain't gonna be stealing shit, bitch. You know, she ain't with that. She's like, it ain't that serious. And and on top of it ain't that serious, I ain't trying to incur something that's gonna come to me anyway. Because I've learned the lessons of the universe. That it may seem fun and exciting and thrilling and like I'm on, on that motherfucker. But it's sure gonna come back for you when you least expect it. When you least expect it in the ways you least expect it. And then you sit in retrospect, hindsight 2020, and look back and go, was it really that deep? No. Nope. That's an indication of mental illness. How far people go. And again, I don't care what labels and outfits and titles and belief systems that they are. Okay? Tuned in to the internet, connect together, yeah, watching now. They're watching Divine Feminine. Hello. Motherfuckers are drawn to the internet. To the damn divine feminine. People hate this, but it's the truth anyhow. These people try to embarrass divine feminine, but it ricochets. Because she, you know why divine feminine? I'm explaining something. I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to explain. Let me tell y'all why. It's not what you think. She's a human being. She has to go through her ascension, her transformation, and deal with things just like anybody else. She also is aware that people manipulate the world of energy. This is why she's not embarrassed. Okay? She's aware of things. She understands the connection. And so the reason why she ends, always ends up being unbothered is because she really don't care. It's like whether they manage to manipulate her energy, there's some, some trickery, low-key shit, bitch energy, whatever... She knows that, first of all, justice is going to serve always for her. She knows it. She knows that it's going to still come out some kind of way, period, point blank, the end. And she don't even care, right? <laughs> it's fascinating. It's fascinating. But these people, this is what they were trying to do. This is why they did it. So they can so-called ruin the reputation of divine feminine. See, this is what people don't get. While you're trying to ruin the reputation of someone, be very careful. Be very, 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 okay? Because it's, if yours is in question, to with, you see where I'm going with this? If yours is in question and you're trying to team up with people and do stuff, then be prepared for the roller coaster ride of that. If that person's integrity was actually intact, whether they were error or not, this is going to come out in a wash. So this is why divine feminines don't get bothered. They actually laugh and go, really? This is just going to be used to amplify what's coming. Because every bit of what these people do, I'm going to amplify that. 
because they should have went on in life. It's very simple for her. She's actually a very simple person, okay? Unbeknownst to most, very simple person. But fucking with her, that's just not advised. It's just not. Yeah. So these people are also threatened by her, okay? Embarrassed. Okay? Somebody is begging and bargaining for money right now. Okay? Because they used to be able to have someone obsessed and it's in the reverse. Finances in the reverse. Yeah, because you guys, somebody has discovered, like, this is crazy. There was the intervention here for the high vibe tribes here. Okay? These people are toxic with suits on and briefcases. We have to get past that. Man, I promise y'all, that's going to be the best thing you do for yourself is to learn to stop looking at what meets the eye, face value, or at first glance, that just because people have things, okay? I have seen some of the most off individuals that's got bank accounts full, okay? Got to learn how to look deeper than that. Deeper, deeper. We can't act like we don't know crazy folks exist in the world with money. We see it on TV. You know, I don't know why we find that difficult. It's, it's fascinating. It's like, oh, okay, so the crazy, crazy energy is people who ain't got money and who live in little, little humble abodes and who, you know, struggling to keep their head above water. They're the crazy ones, right? But, the, you know, see how twisted that is? To be real. To be real. That's going to free you, I promise you. When you start looking past all this stuff, that's going to free you. Oh, they got a thousand trazillion billion subscribers. And I'm not I'm not saying this stuff is bad, y'all. So please don't take these things to the extreme. I'm not trying to say that ooh, it means that these people aren't, you know, legit. What I'm saying is it don't make them legit. Okay? It don't make them healed. It don't make them evolve. It's called spell work. It's called so many things. We see many people in life that's successful don't mean they're in divine energy. And just because they have a church or just because they have, you know what I'm saying, a platform or a Reiki center or whatever it is their chosen fields and professions are with a trazillion motherfuckers, it does not mean nothing in and of itself. It don't. Yeshua was a simple man. <laughs> He's not happy with what the 3D program has done to use him as a template to get people stuck in some fuck shit. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah, not pleased with that. Okay, intervention, lust. Yeah, you guys have learned some lessons about lust. Okay. If you don't deal with your lust, and I'm going to say I'm going to take it past sexual lust, just lust. If you don't get your passions in check, that is a breeding ground for karmic energy. It's a breeding ground for it because that's those are the very things that they're going to exploit about you. Okay? The very things they're going to use against you, whatever that means, right? So you guys have learned some lessons and gotten some help here. Maybe you're seeking help, okay, and your guys are trying to remind you that it's all right. Okay, if you have some kind of sexual addictions and this is why you got caught up, okay, but learning how to cut those people off is the best thing that you can do. You can't play with that because this is how people were tapping into your energy to begin with. This is how they're stealing your energy, zapping you dry, putting their low vibratory frequency energies onto you and using your energy. This is what most people don't know. While they're having so much fun, this is why I'm like, look, it ain't about being approved, but you sure need to know what you're playing with. Because it's going to cost you. And if you're dealing with folks that are not well and people who dabble and play with some toxic, some things, that's what's going to get on you too. If you choose out of your own free will to intertwine with them. Because nobody going to make you. Source ain't going to make you. Creator source or higher self, whatever you resonate, they ain't gonna make you nothing. They're gonna warn you, but they're not gonna make you. Okay? 
advice for you. Fascinated, watch it, focus. Absolutely. These people are obsessed. You guys are discovering that because they, they hide it. Most of them hide this reality from everybody. And they do this via getting their children, friends to do things for them so that it looks like they're not doing it. So they can say, I'm not doing it. I was over here. You have 12 goons that you are using, pawns that you're using. Okay, because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Realization. So you guys are coming to the light about things. You realize some stuff's here. Okay. Realization, awareness, finding out, coming to the light. Okay. And there's exposure here. And there's help on the way. Intervention. Yeah. Somebody realized that it was about the money, the hustle, the family. It was all about the money and the hustle. Blood ties, inner circle, karmic family. It could be also family members starting to realize some stuff, some extended family. But like we saw earlier, family that sold out for money. Yeah. Divorce, final, it's done. And then look, be done, boom, thank you, light team. So your guys are saying, listen, be grateful that this is done. Be grateful to learn that you have completed and learned a lesson, but don't put yourself back into other cycles with these people because you're going to just have to learn another lesson. And let me tell you what I know about narcissism. Every time you go back to a narc, you can bet your bottom dollar there's a level of punishment they're going to inflict upon you for leaving in the first place. Okay? Your lessons will get harder and harder. And in some cases, you may not survive. You may not get out. So it's just not worth it. Care about your life more than that. The fact that you feel like you can't live life without these people is an indication that there's some trauma bonding, some, some Stockholm syndrome, some fear, some obsessions, addictions, because that's not a truth. Okay, it's not truth. There's some protection here. Somebody didn't believe that there was some protection. Somebody didn't think they would get be protected. Somebody could have thought, like the low vibratories thought they had protection or something. It was denied. <laughs> they could have tried. Den denied. Denial. Archangel Michael said not. This is done. You're not protecting. We're going to shatter your witch spells and your cloaking and your don't ask. We are not doing it. There will be no cloaking and there will be no protection circles for the low vibratory people. It's done. It's done. Maybe somebody was protect, kept protecting somebody and maybe someone learned a lesson about trying to deny the truth and protect you know the devil mm -hmm. for lack of better words yeah drama queen karmix thirsty causing chaos and this is that this is what they do this is what they do this is what they do until the end until the end until the very end okay um your guys are saying be grateful that you're free of this person you may feel crummy and crappy right now but be free and stay free and be grateful. And this can be if it's more than one person, by the way. Because some of you divine masculines, you have you a nice little multitude. Okay? You're discovering that your wounds have caused you to constantly be drawn to and get caught up and entangled with karmic women that resemble the energy of your mother. Okay? Because you probably had a toxic mother. Hells, oh, I get it. That's why I see it. Wow, I see it, team. Yeah, now some of these people are probably scared. You know, they were trying to bully you all and make you all scared and panicked and all that. That's why they were doing all this stuff. Okay, but now the tables are turning. Here's Divine Masculine. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, masculine. So now we're validating you, your appearance here. We have divine feminine first. Now we have you. Okay, access. You're online. They are watching you. You could have watched something here. There's the karmic. You learned a karmic lesson. Interesting. All right, let's keep it pushing. I'm going to make this quick or quicker rather because it ain't quick. <laughs> See, okay, good. I'm glad I waited. Thank you, Tane. Okay, so this is where your encouragement is. Yes, you guys are stepping into wholeness. Okay, but like when we go to the doctor, I'm going to keep using these practical analogies. The pro you know, it's a process to our medications working. It's a process to when you go to therapy. It's a process to, you know, your your weight goals. It's a, everything, 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 right? Everything, process, process. Okay, but it doesn't mean that there's not progress. And it doesn't mean that it's nothing, that it's nothing happening, right? So you guys are on your way to wholeness. Smile if you, you know, if you, yeah, smile. Smile at something, shit, bitch, that you free, shit. Go outside and skip. <laughs> That's what I was doing for a long time. And my cat woman energy, you know what I'm saying? Skipping. You know, skipping through the dark. Skipping through the darkness. Dun, 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 dun. Right? That's what I was doing, bitch. Uh, now, guys you know are being guided like go outside and skip because you're now on the path to wholeness and joy okay even though you may be feeling some pain right now so as soon as i said pain here it is crush as soon as i said pain you may be feeling pain you may be feeling sad broken and alone okay and these people probably are you know that you guys are freeing yourself from but that's their lot that's their lot for causing that in other people's lives and fucking with other people's lives that's their lot. Okay? But for you high vibers, you know, you may be feeling this way, but you're free. Okay? And focus on, you know, as you're going through your healing, that this is yours. They're telling you. They want you to look at glimpses of things that will put a smile on your face today. Anything. Okay? Anything. All right? Now, let's move out of here so I can um, get some tarot real quick and a final message real quick. Because the wind is kicking up and it's loud and I don't like screaming. I feel like I have to keep screaming or talking loud. Okay. All right. Let's get some tarot. Light team. Buffer and shield my energy in this space. Okay, sorry about that. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which is Earth energy. Sorry about that. I told y'all, y'all gonna hear all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Anyway, um, earth energy here. So be grateful that you guys are gaining independence. This is pre-empress energy. Um, you're free. This is the single card. Okay. Be grateful. Be grateful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Seven of swords. That people's strategies against a queen of cups are being blocked because people are angry. The ones that were up to the fuckery to begin with are part of it and the ones that were benefiting from it. Okay. They're angry, but they're receiving it back. It's being blocked. Nine of Pentacles. Look at Nine of Pentacles reverse. King of Wands reverse. Two of Wands, which is a blocking energy. It's blocked. It's being returned. It's being blocked. Yeah, because somebody is seeing the truth. Two of Swords. Spell work is being um, sent back as well. The confusion is being blocked. People are getting some kind of introspection here with this hermit. People are ghosting motherfuckers. Could be a whole group of motherfuckers here. 
that was trying to set them up for a tower that maybe unbeknownst to them they didn't see that that's what they were doing tower king of swords right here he is overting a tower you could have overted a tower from freeing yourself here from these people yeah releasing them taking back your power breaking free from their manipulation magician here spell work three plus motherfuckers it's a loss their fuckery is a loss it's a loss People who didn't want, you know, immature people, Page of Cups, emotionally immature, loser energy that didn't want you to apologize or go forward. Seven of Swords came out, lies, strategies, people's strategies to lie and harm a person. They're about to all receive that. Yeah, you guys are free, okay? No longer sacrificing yourself. You are not the sacrifice. These people will be the sacrifice. Take yourself off that hangman tree. Work through your sadness because you know the truth about something here. Ace of Swords, Five of Cups, but you're free, okay? You know the truth about a lover. The moon is in the reverse. Lovers, Ace of Swords, Five of Cups, hangman reverse. Move on, move on. They're not wish fulfillment. Folks is crying, drinking and crying. Yeah, because you freed yourself. Eight of Swords reversed. They can't interfere anymore. Their strategies to interfere is going to get sent back and blocked. These people were interfering in lives and wonder why stuff is about to go the way it's going for them. The way it's going to go for this years out. Nine of Wands, these people kept doing the same shit over and over and over again in the dark. Sun in the reverse. They were hiding it. And pretending like they wasn't and projecting it onto the innocent ones to anybody who would listen to them. They were hiding what they were doing over and over that they actually practiced dark magic. That they go to church. They were hiding it. That they were portraying somebody to steal somebody's money. Somebody's legacy, Ten of Swords, betraying over and over and over again in the dark and then projecting it onto the one that they were actually portraying. So everybody that was involved are getting going to get a nice little dose for falling for the fuckery and getting involved with it. Yeah, Ten of Wands reverse. You guys are laying the burdens down. They wanted Divine Feminine. Here it is. Burden down in secret. They were trying to say she was evil or off or not healed so that someone wouldn't take an offer or give an offer. And now it's being revealed. They wanted to relieve their burdens by taking what belongs to someone else here. Queen of Swords was involved. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Sag, yep, Strength is in the reverse. Yeah, they're under judgment. They're getting weaker. They're going to get ill and weak from the things they've done. Bad news. They got some bad news coming. Okay, for you guys. Yeah. So they're not going to get their wishes fulfilled here. Because they were trying to block somebody's healing, somebody's rise and shine constantly. They were doing this shit constantly to fuck with a divine feminine. Constantly. Constantly. Light team. So what's the dharma for that? What's the dharma for divine masculines and feminines here? 
Ha. Two of Cups. They're dropping these fake cups of love. It was in the reverse. No longer investing. Yeah. They're dropping these fake cups of love. These people aren't going to get any love. Huh? Goodness gracious, God. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Poor investments. They're going to lose it all. Whole family. Ten of Cups. Damn. Uh-huh. They're burdened and weighted down by you guys' independence. But they want to put their baggage and burdens onto you. Divine feminine, divine masculine. That's what this shit was all about. Yeah, tower. In the reverse, they're burdened that they couldn't destroy you. They're burdened that they're being sent into the reverse. I told y'all, just watch. Before the year is out. Just watch. It's over. The world. Lessons learned. Be grateful. Yeah, you guys freed yourself from the devil. So your guys are saying, look, be grateful you're done. But be done. You're done. But be done. Okay? You've learned your lessons. Devil is in the reverse. Okay? Release yourself from addictions and toxicity and dark witches and warlocks. Three plus motherfuckers. Okay, that was full of darkness and sadness. Lacked self-love. Did anything and everything to betray somebody that actually had love for them. It's another reason why they're going to pay. Because these people did any and everything of hideous nature to someone that actually had love for them. And because they couldn't control them, because they couldn't bully them, because that person probably called them out on their shit. They portrayed them over and over again. This is why their karma is so high. They stole over and over again. Did shit over and over again. A whole group of motherfuckers. It's over. They wanted to win at all costs, but now they lost. They lost by failing to step up and do the right thing. Because many of these people were guided a long time ago. To say something and do the right thing and they didn't do it. They believe the dark witches and warlocks. And so now they're going to get what the witches and warlocks in distortion are going to get. Seven of wands in the reverse. Yep, they have no protection, but their stuff is being sent right back to them. That's why they don't. Their death rituals that they sent to you all is being turned back to them. That's why I say just watch how this year ends. Just watch. You ain't got to just, just watch how everything plays out. And this is where there's people you all know or don't. This is people who are sending death to you. It is being sent back to them. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity. They were sending it to you and your kids. It's being sent back to them and theirs. Yep. Yep. It's being sent back. Okay. Yeah. Source is there in the judgment. Source is involved and ain't happy here. Hair upon reverse. This is mental patient energy. Not happy about what these people did and what they caused. Yeah, these people that are jealous. Here is that jealous energy. Five of wands. Secretly jealous. Secretly trying to one up. Secretly trying to compete where they don't compare. Yeah. Aries is here. Yeah. Jealous of somebody's new beginnings. Jealous of somebody's confidence. Okay, karmic. Karmics. Money hungry parent mothers that's even jealous. All these people finna get it. Unfair mothers and shit that knew about the distortion and was unfair and participating in. They're all getting it. They're all getting it. King of Wands, anybody that was in distortion, anybody that participated in it. Because they're being seen and exposed. Two of Swords reverse. They can't confuse you all anymore. 
their spell work is being sent back to them, nine of swords in reverse, they're going to eat it. They're going to eat it. Okay? That's your dharma. Huh? It's your dharma. Believe it or not, it's your dharma. It's your dharma for finally doing the right thing and letting people go. Okay? Judgment is final. This is final. They're not getting out of it. They're not, don't, don't believe the hype. They're not getting out of it. They can do whatever, go wherever, call whoever. They're not getting out of it. And anybody who joins in is just going to be joining in with what they're getting. Yeah. You guys in that independence? People's strategies against you are being thwarted, so they're saying be grateful. You may not feel all that well, so take care of yourself. Look into homeopathic, holistic things. Okay? But stay the fuck away from all these types of motherfuckers. You don't need to hear their sob stories. You don't need to hear their excuses. People kick into high gear when karma is, at, is near. People kick into high gear when karma is near. Keep them blocked. They're being blocked. But you have to also evoke your free will. And keep them blocked. Yeah. Queen of Swords just fell on the floor. So, a Queen of Swords, you may be getting some good news. If, uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. Ah. Cut, you know, this Queen of Swords energy... It's a cutting off what doesn't serve. So keep these people blocked. Okay. There is some good news coming. Your guys are saying there's good news. Some truths are coming in. Maybe a queen of swords is going to tell some truth. Maybe they're sad about what happened with a sibling or something like that. Six of cups or the past. Or maybe it's the king of swords that's coming. Oh, shit. We got a divine pair. Because that's the queen of swords and this is the king of swords. Ooh. So it's the king of swords is fencing fenc to send good news to the queen of swords or the queen of swords to the king of swords about someone from the past ah, that was working against someone. Probably had this shit, was doing this shit, you know, catacombs and shit, bitch. Pretend like they don't do it. Yeah, that was causing confusion and fights. Yeah. And somebody that's selfish and greedy here. So there's good news coming to you, King of Swords or Queen of Swords or, you know, whether you're heir or not, but you just could be in that energy, but that that's like a divine pair. Um. So there's some good news and truths coming. And so your guides are wanting to remind you that, okay, you may not feel all that well right now or feel some kind of way because of everything that has happened. But good news, communication, truth is um, here. So sit and rest in that, okay? Um, and I know it's easier said than done. I, trust me, I can relate because I don't be trying to hear it. My guys have to work hard with me, boy. Because when you get the beast woke up, I don't be trying to hear it. I do not. I'll be talking to the ancestors, my guys. I'm like, uh-uh-uh. They have to work with me to calm me down. <laughs> I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm never. And I'm, <laughs> I get into high gear mode. Like, now they didn't woke up the beast. I'm going, amp, 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 amp. The more they fuck with me, fuck with me. <laughs> I'll be pissed. I'm like, oh, really? Now I'm going to go in. I'm going in harder now. They should have left me alone when they had opportunity to leave me alone. They should have left me alone when they still had opportunity to leave me alone. They should have did that. Because now I, I'm no retreat, no surrender. I'm not taking no, no prisoners. Nope. No retreat, no surrender. Negotiations are off the table. <laughs> From motherfuckers who willfully took part in trying to disrupt shit. And connection, my connection with divine masculine, and my whole life in general. I don't give a fuck. It's like, no. Whether I knew him or not, his motherfucker, karmic motherfucker's mine, 
Motherfuckers, I know. Motherfuckers, I know. <laughs> Shit, don't matter to me. Still entitled to fuck with me? That was dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. Because I'm sending it all back and asking my team to amplify it thoroughly. <laughs> Yeah, all that glitters. Somebody has figured out that all that glitters ain't gold and that's moving on, being guided by the ancestors. Okay? Yeah, so yeah, moving the sea so they can go to distance. Crossing this finish line and this cheetah energy. Yeah. Final messages, light team, final guidance. Soulmates, pinklins. Ooh. Let's mess them to go down. Oh, you finna get a message. Y'all told I told y'all. Just keep returning to sender this the chaos magic that they're doing to try to stop y'all from communicating. You got to do that, you know, because that they're here just like you're here. Please know that. Please know that that doesn't stop. They don't stop until they expire. So things are getting calm. There's going to be a message. Ooh, you guys are being guided to karma waters for what was unfair. Because you guys are asking why. So there's going to be communications about what caused all of this stuff. Okay. Oh, this karmic stuff. That wasn't right. And that everybody paying for. I'm going to say it every day, all day, every day. A leg up. Yeah, you guys are getting a leg up from, you know, the stuff people stole and did. Stealing your shit. Yeah, somebody's going to finally tell the truth here. Yeah, I have truth be told. Yeah, truth is coming here because you all are no longer stuck. That's beautiful. No longer in between worlds. Yeah, time to go. No place like home. So someone... Is going towards something that they don't ever want to leave again. They could have thought it wasn't for them before. Now they think it is for them. And they feel like it's no place like home. Yeah, bless. Look at peace and bless just flew out. Yeah, we have peace is coming here, you guys. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we got peace. Peace and bless. So you guys are being reminded that, look, be at peace. You know, feel your emotions. You know, do what you got to do. You may not feel all that well right now, but be at peace knowing that all is well. Okay? Because I have peace and blessed. Yeah, that flew out. Okay, you may put your hair on a ball if you're a feminine energy. Floaty fairy. <laughs> Floaty fairy energy. You may put it on a ball. Do your yoga. Okay. Ah, so they're just wanting 22. It's a 22 energy. Oh, shit. Oh, bitch. Ah, it's a 22 energy in this piece. Look at synchronicity 22, 23. It's leading straight to this piece. You're blessed. There's peace here where there's been a challenge. It could have been a challenge to a twin flame journey with that 22 or a challenge to. Uh, getting balance restored, but it is here, and they are want they're trying to encourage you all, in spite of how you're feeling right now, okay? Because of all of this, this highly sophisticated fuckery, okay, that y'all's been dealing with, okay? Oh, that's your dharma. You're gonna get a leg up support somebody is you are somebody that you're thinking about for what people did to steal yeah somebody's being guided to take some the next steps here 
yeah, there's a man. Oh, man. Okay. Steps are being given for manifestation now. Oh, shit. My father. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, get your intentions clear. You can't afford to be cl cloudy and indifferent. Get them clear so that you can manifest. Ask your team to help you to get them clear, okay, where there's a struggle. But download Divine Love is here. <laughs> so you guys are getting creativity awakened. And there's going to be some, oh, there's two people in this picture. You guys have to look close. Uh, ooh, and look, there's a butterfly. Ooh, so self-love. Yes, you guys are being guided to continue to take care of yourself. Angel energy healing numbers, if you're into that, okay. Angelics, you guys may, somebody may be close to the angelics in a dynamic, okay. Um, they could themselves be an earth angel. Maybe they don't fully know that, but uh, yeah, self-love and just quiet your mind. Because, I mean, it's a lot. You guys went through a lot, and I'm not going to downplay a joke and clown and laugh and talk crazy. But I'm not going to, I'm not downplaying the heinousness of what some of you all went through. Because some of this shit, people should be put into mental, mental institutions for or locked up. Serious. The shit they did to you and your children and your life. Cut your cords and mean it. I, have, I emphasize that, you guys, because I, too, had to learn that very same lesson. Okay? As long as we play with low vibratory frequency, whatever you want to title it as, you're not saving them. We're not. You're not fixing them. You're not saving them. You're not divinely protected as you choose out of your free will to keep fucking with the devil. So it's like you have to mean it. Oh, look at the doggy. He's so cute. And he asked, this dog actually reminds me. You guys can't see it because it's somebody that's passing through. But um, it's, a, it's all white. So it's opposite of a dog I used to love. I still love. I, I wonder about him. Me and my son always think about Benny. But he was black. But this one is an all-white one. So cute. And he's like staring and looking as they were coming by. But anyway. Um, centering in divine light. Yes. Metatron. Some of you guys are being guided to work with Archangel um, Metatron's energy. Uh, releasing yourself from the matrix. Downloading divine love here. Through this process. These challenges. Um, yeah, to stay positive, yeah, it's okay, it's all right, get that guidance, <laughs> this is good, I'm happy, they're still passing by, there's a, that puppy, and he's like, look, it's so cute, he or she, I can't tell, so cute okay uh, breathe and become aware yes get out of get in nature get in nature get to some trees some grass or something connect with your breath like mindful breath work right that's going to help some of you yeah personal development it's all right you're just being developed learning how to quiet the mind because it's the ego mind that gets us entangled to begin with. It's the ego mind that makes us stay stuck in our shadow form. It's the ego mind that keeps us in our addictions and fears. Okay. The lower egoic mind. And so get into nature. Cut the cords, right? Cut the cords that's in your mind as well. Things that people put in your head. Yeah. Because these people did it. Shit, possibly every known hex and vex on the earth. That's how desperate they are. 
Yeah. Divine synchronicity is at play here. Clear, open your psychic senses and clear out their um, fuckery here. There's progress being made. Get clear, get clear. You're downloading love. You guys are downloading love. You're developing, getting strong. Emotional clearing good. You got to do some of that, especially with all this fuckery that was involved. Manifestation is here. Infinite possibilities. You guys have infinite possibilities here. These people know that too. It's another reason why they do what they do. Those that were working against you. Yeah, these two popped out. Self-love. Okay, these people didn't want you all to love yourself because they really don't love themselves. They want you to not care for yourself, take care of yourself, or to feel like you couldn't, or to feel like you ain't worth it. That is their energy. Send it back to them. Call your energy back to you. Do this as often as you feel guided. Calling back your energy and power and soul fragments from every individual that was involved in the fuckery, the drama, and the trauma in your life. And then sending their energies back to them, their soul fragments, their energy, and reversing everything they've done with your intention and free will and calling it to tie it to their own life until they expire, until they learn their lessons, until they expire. And anybody henceforth, now and forevermore, all directions of time and space that's dumb enough to keep trying to fuck with you, make the call. And continue to set those intentions on whether you know who they are or not. This is a practice that I'm doing constantly. People who come in with hidden dishonor, ill will and intentions, people who are fake friends, posing, whatever they do. In the name of trying to team up with motherfuckers or feel me out, I'm calling judgment on all everybody. And then I set that intention that if folks are innocent, then... So let this pass them by because it's not meant for that. It's meant for those who fully deserve it. Okay? All right, you guys. <laughs> Love and light.